Hi Capricorn, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. I hope you guys are well. We are just going to pull some oracle cards. So let me do the tarot first. And some affirmation cards. This is the guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. I have been doing a lot of extra Capricorn readings. I think I'm going to fall back on those a bit. And the reason being is because I need to put the same amount of energy, or at least a little more energy, into all the other signs, too. Till where I'll be doing bonus readings, I may do uh, drawings, like have the signs in here and just choose a sign to do a bonus reading for. If you do have Leo in your chart, there will be a bonus reading for Leo because my last Leo video got quite a bit of traffic and I apparently struck some nerves too, but that is okay. So if you have a Leo placement, you may want to check out the previous video and that one, like your moon and rising. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. So you're getting your Stella and Stan, you are getting your groove back, babes. You're getting your groove back, feeling confident, wanting to see what else is out there. Some of you may feel like the world is your oyster at this time. Wow, the world is your oyster. Because things are improving for you. Uh, people may be noticing a difference in you. I feel like some of you may actually be trying to get that body snatched before the holiday season, before the new year. You're starting on your New Year's goals now. This is you guys planning, making plans, but this is also you guys taking time to meditate and retreat and recover from some of the things you've dealt with. Some of you might be withdrawing your energy. Oh, here we go. Ace of Wands, it's, it's about passion. It can actually be the start of a business, maybe a start of a new hobby. Some of you could be taking time to prepare for something that you're starting. I don't know why I just thought about somebody starting to run and preparing for marathon in the springtime. I don't know why that came to mind because uh, I don't know the first thing about running. All I know about running is I feel like I can't breathe. All right, so what are these cards? Okay, so we have, we have the hanged man. The hanged man is about seeing things from a new perspective, letting things go, taking a moment to pause, which you are doing here. We have, which way am I supposed to read this? Okay. We do have uh, the Page of Swords, which is somebody curious about you or watching you. Could be somebody that's wanting to send some sort of communication to you. I have the Judgment card. This is you guys uh, going through an awakening or maybe making a judgment call. I have the heartbreak. There may be a major disappointment or maybe that judgment call you're making can prevent a major disappointment. So two more cards, Spirit. I'm hearing three. Three more cards, please. Three more cards for Cappies. Okay. One more card. Thank you. So look at that at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, okay. So yes, um, your judgment call could possibly prevent a heartbreak. I do have a gift here with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be um, a tangible gift, somebody offering you something that you can actually hold. It could be, uh, it could actually be a blessing. A lot of, um, a lot of things that happen or don't happen for us 
there's a blessing in it and it's up to us to see it. But this could be a raise or a new job for some of you. I do have the Five of Swords. This makes me think of someone that is dishonest and not lying. Could be somebody possibly trying to get in your head somehow. And then I have the High Priestess. This is about trusting your intuition in regards to someone or something. And then I have at the bottom of the deck. I'll just remove this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, it just makes me think of being uh, having security and having somebody to share that security with as far as the long-term security. A traveling family, a family who does things together, has fun together, and are abundant together. So this could be something that's coming towards you, but your judgment call could prevent a heartbreak here, some sort of major disappointment. Or after an awakening, you could, you could encounter a major disappointment, but whatever. And actually, this could have happened for some of you already. And it's about seeing how this heartbreak or things not working out with somebody was actually a gift from the universe or from spirit. Because somebody was dishonest. Somebody was trying to get in your head, but you trusted your intuition here. And it is getting you one step closer to your Ten of Pentacles, whether it be your abundance on your own or your abundance that you share with someone. So I'm going to leave you with that, Capricorn, as far as the tarot. And I'm going to pull some affirmation cards. What affirmation cards can possibly help Capricorn at this time? Please and thank you. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. All right. So, send a letter to the universe. Uh, universe, the world loves me. And here's the picture. Oh, it's so beautiful, right? Next is, here we go. Bubble power. My wishes float easily out into the world. And I kid you not, Capricorn, I had gone to, I think it was the Dollar Tree or Five and Below and bought a whole bunch of bubbles. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is really pretty. So it says, Hope Jar. I am full of hope and I take action. Well, you know what? Let me turn these around so you can actually see those if you want to see them again. And then lastly, my inner witch is loving this. Uh, the magic potion. I can create magic anytime I wish. And then I don't know why something's telling me to pull this one because I'm seeing the moon. Freeze it. I freeze what I no longer want. Oh no, it's ice. It's ice. So really quickly, like if somebody is gossiping about you, they say that you, you, what you can actually do is put that person's name on a paper, on a piece of paper, and put it in ice and stick it in a freezer to stop the gossip. I don't know who I'm saying that for, but I'm saying it for somebody. So this is actually ice, a ball of ice. This is not the moon. This is ice. Freeze it. I freeze what I no longer want. Maybe if you're dealing with negativity in your life, you can write those things on paper that you want removed and stick that in the freezer. I don't know. I'm just saying. Awesome. So I'm going to leave you with that. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye, Capricorn.